Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I'm going to tell you about time and time zones. Let's get started. Time in different regions of Earth varies from one place to another because the Earth rotates around its own axis. To study the time frames, we use the longitudes. The time is calculated based on the longitude passing through the city Greenwich and it is called the Greenwich Mean Time or the GMT. The time taken by the Earth to complete one rotation is, as we know, one day and that one rotation means 360 degrees. To rotate 360 degrees, it takes one day, that is 24 hours, that means 24 into 60 minutes. To complete one degree of rotation, Earth takes 4 minutes. And let us see how many degrees the Earth will rotate within an hour. We know within 24 hours, it rotates 360 degrees. That says within one hour, it rotates 15 degrees. Accordingly, the world map is divided into time zones where each time zone include 15 longitudes and from one time zone to the next time zone, the time duration is one hour. So if you take the world map from the Greenwich Meridian to the right side, the time increases by one hour, whereas to the left time decreases by one hour from zone to zone. Let's move on to some examples. The first example is that the time in London, which is situated in the zero time zone. Let us mark it on a line like this. London time zone is zero and the time is 6.30 a.m. and it is a Monday. And then we have to find the time in Malaysia, which is in the eighth time zone. So let me mark Malaysia like this. It is in the eighth time zone. And let me put eight like that. Fine. Now from London to Malaysia, the time duration or the time gap is eight hours because it is moving to the right we put plus eight so then from 6 30 we must count eight hours forward to find the time in malaysia so simply what we do is we write 6 30 and to 6 30 we add eight hours like this so we get 14 30 14 30 is in 24 hours clock but the time in London is given in 12 hours therefore we subtract 12 hours from the answer and then we receive 2.30 and that is the time in Malaysia is 2.30 p.m. The date will not change the day will be still Monday because it has not reached the midnight 12 o'clock. Fine moving on to another example that is the time in Sri Lanka in plus five and a half time zone is 21 15 on 2020 10 15 and we are going to find the time in Sydney which is situated in the plus 10 time zone and along with that we are going to find the time in Chile which is in the minus five time zone so just like before draw a number line mark Sri Lanka and the time zone is five and a half Make sure you put plus five and a half and then the time is 21.15 and the day also, the date we are going to write down that is 2020, October 15th. And when it comes to Sydney, it is in plus 10 time zone. So let's mark the time zone. Now you should clearly see from five and a half to plus 10, the duration is five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half and 10. That is four and a half hour. So what we have to do is to add four and a half hours to the time in Sri Lanka to get the time in Sydney. That is 2115 plus 430 that is 2545 this is greater than 24 so we have to subtract 24 from that to get the exact time in Sydney that is 145 since we subtracted 24 hours that means 24 hours has passed a day has gone so the date in Sydney will be 2020 October 16th and let's move on to the second part of the question that is the time in Chile. When it comes to Chile, Chile is in the minus 5 time zone. So when it comes to minus 5 from 
plus five and a half to minus five we have to skip zero so from plus five and a half to zero there are five and a half time zones from there to minus five another five time zones altogether minus ten and a half time zones we have to pass that means the time duration is minus ten hours and a half minutes so we subtract ten and half from the time in sri lanka that is 21 15 so you get 10 45 there right therefore the time in chile is 10 45 and the date will not change hope i made myself clear with time zones and how to calculate time at different regions on earth when our particular time in or given zone is known so hope to meet you in another smart math bit until then goodbye